Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm heading to Missing Link Bike Shop on Sandy. They're having a liquidation sale. They're going to be closing that store. And uh, I guess they're moving to Milwaukee. They've already opened that store, but that was the plan. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna do maybe a crazy Santa or something too, cause it's uh, gonna be uh, closing till uh, Christmas. So I'm gonna put that up, and but mostly just lettering. I'm gonna flood the whole thing with lettering, and uh, I'm gonna be doing some uh, liquidation lettering or water lettering. So you'll get to see how I actually do that font, the water font. Hey, how you doing? Well, I'm here to take all that off. I am all done washing the windows and that went pretty quick so I got all this finished all this here and I think I'm gonna leave this guy over here I'm just gonna leave him and uh, it's funny it looks like James <laughs> the noisy traffic but uh, you should be able to hear me anyway you pour in some white I'm gonna use this tray here this was my blend tray but it doesn't matter so I'm gonna pour in a healthy chunk of white and then I'm taking my Sherwin Williams splashy color and I'm gonna pour a little bit of that in too and then I've got this uh, new roller it's my Wooster roller lint free and just start working it in Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the splashy color in. I don't want it too light. And this will dry about 15% uh, darker. Just a little bit more. Okay, this will do it. So, I know they want, uh, he wants moving sail. So probably up here I'm gonna put moving sail. I'm not gonna worry about the neon, I'm gonna go right over it. So that's gonna leave this part for the word liquidation all the way across. And then that leaves me space here for other things like uh, through Christmas or whatever they're gonna put. And then uh, over here, I'm going to do a big, giant Santa head. <laughs> Just kind of a goofy Santa. And then maybe him saying, we're moving, or something like that. And then again, down here, I'll put something here about we're moving too, and just leave uh, that caricature of James up. So I know I'm going to put liquidation in here. So I kind of look at it like liquidation, L-I-Q-U-D-A-T-I-O-N. So we've got 10 characters. We've got a couple I's in there too, which are thinner. But so liquidation is going to go across this. So we're looking at approximately two to three characters per window. So maybe L-I-Q-U-I-D-A-T-I-O-N. So we can lay it out like that. Or we could make the L a little bigger and do L-I-Q-U-I-D-A-T-I-O-N. 
So maybe we'll do that, make the, the L a little bigger here. And then uh, leave, try to leave a little space on the bottom. It's pretty simple. It's kind of like making Halloween lettering too. But uh, you kind of take the corner, you can like kind of draw with the corner. And you can use the two inch foam too if you're still getting used to the rollers. But so I know I want to put it in here, I want to leave stuff for the money. I mean not money, but the moving cell part up there. So in here, we're going to just, we're going to have an L and an I. So we want the L kind of big. So you can kind of, kind of lay out like that loosely. And then you sort of just grab it and you just go like that. This is going to be some water. So water lettering is like, just like you're doing a splash, like a water. And just shape it like an L. So like so. And then over here, you kind of grab it sideways and you can go like that. And you can come back and trim these. This is really free flowing. You don't have to worry about making it perfect. So here I have all the lettering done and uh, it can come out pretty good. And uh, it's the first stage. And uh, you, you don't have to worry about making it perfect because it's just so fluid and it's like, who's gonna know the difference? <laughs> so the next step is let this dry. I may touch it up, maybe do a second coat. Well, it looks like the sun's coming out. And uh, that first coat dried pretty quick. I did decide after the first coat dried, it looked a little bit splotchy. So I went ahead and did a second coat too. Okay, I took my color and I also laid in some water along the bottom. And if I need to, I can write some letters along here, but I don't have to. I got lucky too, because uh, I ran out of paint, but I don't have any, uh, I've got a store. I mixed the right exact amount. So yeah, over here I'm gonna put uh, Big huge Santa. It's gonna be fun. Let's get some white going. Grab my little ladder dealy. And then let's put a Santa up here. A big one. <laughs> this is fun. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm going to clean up the bottom of this, but this time I'm going to use my thumb. You can use your finger, your thumb, like this. And just kind of bow in like that. See? Then you got that paint there. I just put it in my pouch. But you get a nice clean edge. Okay, I got the second coat of Santa, and I got all the letters and everything laid out. And uh, I got the, the box on top, the banner for the blend. Uh, but I'll tell you, I do best when people just uh, just cut me loose, you know. I don't have to worry about painting around the neon or making it too big or anything. Like when people just say, hey, fill it up, make it big, bright, and bold. And then that's when I do my best, come up with ideas. And I just do my thing. <laughs> it just feels so fun, you know, not to have to worry about all these little details and stuff just like put that sucker up <laughs> make it as big and bold and bright as possible because that's what's most effective too I mean this is gonna really work for them okay the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my splashy color which is the actual name of it it's you know I've talked about it before it's Promar 200 interior eggshell and the color is called splashy a good color so I'm going to take this and uh, do the shadow on the lettering and the water okay so this part it's not rocket science you just got to make sure you you get your brush dry you know you want to get out some of the paint you take it on end you want to stay you don't want to go all the way to the end because it's like a it's like a shadow 
So we're gonna come down like so. And then you just pull it down like this. You can do thick and thin by how you manipulate the brush. You want it to look fluid because it's water. Okay, I got all the shadow for all the water stuff. That took me about 10 minutes. And even if it takes you 20 minutes, that's pretty good. But yeah, just try to try to try to be loose and flow with it, you know. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, mix up the white color. Or not the white, but the highlight on that color. Okay, I'm gonna take this what's left of this color and just add some white. And I might not have the I might not have to add any more color to it. I can just squish it around and probably get my highlight color for the water. You see? So I'm really utilizing this paint. I'm going to add a little more white because this does dry darker and I want to keep it light. Looks like it needs a little more. There we go. Okay, I got my highlight color for the water now, and I just do the same thing as I did with the shadow, just on the other side, and at the top. So you just come in like this, same way, kind of come sideways, push down like that. But on, the, on spots at the, at the top of areas or the top of the whole thing, you can make it thicker. Because it's getting more light down here, the light city. Okay, I've got the, uh, both the highlight and the shadow done on the lettering in the water. And it looks really vibrant. A lot of people walking by were like, hey, it looks great. Some people out of cars too were shouting even. <laughs> So I guess it's working. But uh, the lettering looks so good. And the background of the window is kind of dark. So I may not even have to do a black outline. Because it's really standing out pretty good. Anyway, let's move along. <laughs> okay, moving along. I've got some uh, second coat of white on the Santa. And some uh, blue shadowing on his beard and stuff. I've got the blend up here now too. My friend John Madden showed up. Hello. He's an old friend. He's an awesome artist, a scratch board. I guess you can go online and look up John Madden. Something. You're looking for my stuff at, at, uh, at, uh, on Flickr.com under John Madden, M-A-D-D-I-N. Oh, it's I-N? I-N. Oh, I saw it was E-N. It's it funny. was, and then I changed it. It's the oh. original family spelling. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, so we'll look for that, and I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description. All righty. <laughs> Take care, Scott. All right, see ya. Good to see you.
have all done here at Missy Link Bike Shop on Sandy Boulevard in Northeast Portland. And it came out pretty good. The lettering uh, looks real watery. So I hope that helps you if you ever need to do any water lettering for like a, a spa company or a, a hot tub place or a sauna or a pool or a place that sells pools or a word liquidation. You can now know how to do uh, water lettering. <laughs> I should do another tape, but I'm too lazy. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.